Hey there, Submitting here, and welcome back to Marvel Legendary. I'm a tiny bit under the weather today, so apologies in advance if I, like, cough or something, but... I want to play Marvel. So I'm playing some Marvel. Let's see, we're facing Nick Fury. He always leads the Avengers. Command strike stack the strike next to Nick Fury, then demolish each player once for each strike stacked here. I don't remember what demolish does. What does that do? Doesn't tell me. Uh, demolish. Reveal and bottom the top card of the hero deck. Each player reveals their hand and discards card with dimension cost. Okay. And Nick Fury has secret Hydra corruption. <laughs> you don't say. Set up, there's 30 officers in the shield officer stack. For two to three players, there are nine twists. Special rules, officers stacked next to the scheme are Hydra Sympathizers. You may pay three recruit to have the player of your choice gain one as a hero. Twist for each twist in the KO pile, including this one. Put a card from the shield officer stack next to the scheme, then the scheme transforms. Uh, okay. When the scheme is transformed, officers next to the scheme are three attack Hydra Traitor villains. When you fight one, return it to the officer stack and KO one of your heroes. Twist for each twist in the KO pile, including this one. Put a card from the shield officer stack next to the scheme. Then, if evil hasn't won yet, the scheme transforms. Evil wins when there are 15 officers next to the scheme, or the shield officer stack runs out. Okay. So ideally, you'll want to be fighting them as Hydra traders. And not recruiting them as Hydra Sympathizers, because if you fight them when they're Hydra Traders, they go back to the Officer stack. Okay. Makes sense. We're also fighting the Domain of Apocalypse and the Hellfire Cult. We're playing as Magic, Colossus and Wolverine, Daredevil, Star-Lord, and Silk. Okay, let's... I love that the, uh... I love that the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. has secret Hydra corruption going on. That's, uh, fitting. Clicking the button. Okay, it did automatically change the officer stack down to 30. We've got 3-3 three, three split on the right, 4-2 split on the left. There's no 5 cost things that I can recruit. Okay, let's see what we got going on over here. We've got... Look at the top two cards of your deck. That one seems... Draw one, put the other one back. This seems pretty good. I assume there's going to be some artifact stuff going on with Star-Lord. Spectrum requires you to have three different <coughs> classes. So as long as you can get the Spectrum effect, this is pretty good. What do I want here? Like, this right now is just a 2 recruit card. This right now is just a 1 attack card. This right now is weird. Hmm. I might buy this just on the off chance that I can get more, like, get some artifacts later. I don't know. Right now, nothing's really speaking to me. Yeah, this 
This HQ isn't really speaking to me. Okay, I can get a free KO. And a good early K. <coughs> Sorry, a good early KO. I'm gonna do that. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it. Then with three recruits, uh, I could wall crawl this just so I don't shuffle right away. Or I could do the shuffle right away. And buy something else. If I shuffle right away, my new deck will have one whatever I buy and these six cards. Which honestly isn't that great. God, what am I taking? This HQ seems so mediocre. This is a good way to set up this. Like, you can teleport this card until you draw your Spectrum card. And then that's automatically Spectrum. Try that, I guess. There's the artifact. Once per turn, gain a shard. What is that icon? Is that an icon or is that just part of the art? What is that? I think that's just part of the art. Because that's not his team. That's not Guardians of the Gal. I don't I think that's just part of the art. Okay, I took the artifact thing on this side, so... Might as well take the other artifact. Roundhouse sidekick. Choose a number, then reveal the top card of your deck. If the card is that cost, gain a sidekick. Hmm. It's good with this, obviously. Four recruit and two attack. Just wall crawl both of these. And hope that the uh, the ranged card I got is on top. Or I could go into something like this. I think I'd just buy both of these. Hmm. Going for the Spectrum stuff seems interesting. I'll buy this one. Just because it's more likely that I'll get the Spectrum from the wall crawled Cascading Maneuver if I don't buy a second Cascading Maneuver. Master Strike. Stack the Strike next to Nick Fury. Then demolish each player once for each Strike stacked here. It's discard, right? Reveal in bottom the deck, 
bottom deck, the top card of the hero deck. Each player reveals their hand, discards a card with a matching cost. Okay, six. Uh, I'm pretty sure no one has a six. Correct. All right, so this goes on the bottom. I have seven recruit. Which is a good amount of recruit. Go for daredevil stuff. Soaring flight. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny, actually. Um, elusive four. What does that mean? You can only fight this adversary if you have made recruit power equal to the amount of elusive on this card. You don't have to spend that to fight this adversary. You just have to have made that much recruit power this turn. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I want the draw. So here's one attack. Two attack, Spectrum draw card. I have four attack and three recruit. I can't fight Ant-Man because I only made three recruit. So I can fight this. Um, but that means I'm going to shuffle my deck. That's fine. I should just recruit first, though. Um, oh, no. I can buy this. Fight this. Which would give me another recruit. And then buy this. Yeah. Okay, so I buy this. And I wall crawl it. And I fight this. I reveal the top card of your deck. Cost zero KO it. Otherwise, you get one recruit. And I buy this. This is the first time I think I'm going to be making like a Spider-Man deck. Obviously this isn't doesn't work with it, but there's this which costs two as well. Alright, Artifact. Once per turn, gain a shard. I have four attack, and one recruit. I'm going to fight the Hellfire Cult. And... Yep, that's my turn. Scheme twist. For each twist in the chemo pile, including this one, put a card from the shield officer deck next to the scheme, then the scheme transforms. Okay, so this is currently a Hydra Trader. When I fight it, I return it to the officer's deck and KO one of my heroes. Okay. I have three attack and three recruit. going to fight this. I'm going to assume it returns to the bottom. And then I KO one of my heroes. Then with three recruit, I'm going to buy Silk Stalking. start with this. I look at the top two cards of my deck, I draw one and put the other back. Get five attack this turn. You can fight that this turn. Okay, we'll draw this and put this one back. Then I choose a number, reveal the top card of your deck, if the card is that cost, gain a sidekick, zero. Sidekick. 
I have two recruit and five attack. Once per turn, I can gain a shard. And then I will spend those two shards to get two more attack. And I will fight Apocalyptic Weapon X. Which lets me KO one of my heroes. With two recruit, I'm going to buy dual existence. Apocalyptic Rogue. start with this. Two attack, Spectrum, reveal the top card of your deck, cost two or less, draw it. Then two attack, Spectrum, reveal the top card of your deck, cost two or less, draw it. Then one attack, draw a card. Then I have four recruit and seven attack. The fight, Rogue. You'll top card of the hero deck, the player of your choice gains it. You can have that. And I'm going to buy this and this. Okay, once per turn, gain a shard. Then two recruit. Once per I can activate this once per turn effect again and gain a shard. I have six recruit and one attack. Uh, do I want to spend the shards to clear the city? question that I don't know the answer to. I'm going to get a lot of shards to eventually fight Nick Fury. I don't think I can afford to spend them to keep the city clear. So I can't afford to fight Ant-Man this turn because the elusive requires me to have 4 recruit. I don't need to spend the 4 recruit, I just need to have had it. I'm going to buy this. Uh, two recruit. Could buy this one. Ambush, KO each ally in the lair that costs 7 or more. There aren't any. Fight, same effect, overrun, demolish each player. Okay. I'm going to start with 1 attack, draw a card. Then 2 attack. Build top card of your deck, cost 2 or less, draw it. Then 1 attack, draw a card. Do I need 7 attack this turn, or can I teleport it? I should fight Thor. Just because that fight effect is very annoying. If I get rares in the HQ, so I'm just going to fight him now. Then 3 recruit, I'm going to buy this one. Okay, the right side is starting to run out of two cost things to buy. Ambush. Each player reveals a tech hero or gains a bindings. Oh. Alright. Uh, start by looking at the top two cards of my deck. Draw one and put the other back. Okay, two attack doesn't do anything this turn, so I'll put this back and draw this one. Four recruit, one attack and gain a sidekick. 
four recruits. I have two of these, right? So this X gene will happen a okay amount of the time. I can buy this one instead. I'd like to eventually buy this, the implanted memory chip. So getting another recruit card would help with that. Oh, and once per turn I gain a shard. I'm gonna buy this one. Scheme twist! For each trust in the KO pile, including this one, put a card from the scheme monster stack next to the scheme, then if evil hasn't won yet, the scheme transforms. Okay, ideally, I want to fight these when this is on the other side. And I think I'm early enough to facilitate that. Okay, I'm going to start with this. Two attack. Reveal the top card of your deck. It costs two or less draw it. Same deal. Reveal the top card of your deck. It costs two or less draw it. One attack draw a card. I don't know if I want to play this one. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to shuffle my deck right now. It's a shitty fight effect. All of these are shitty fight effects. In that case, I'm going to play this. One attack, uh X or Spider-Man's energy reveal top card of your deck costs zero KO, and if it costs one or two, draw it. Okay, and then I'm going to fight. You. Fight, reveal top card of your deck, draw it or teleport it. I'll draw it. Then I fight this one. Real top card of your deck costs your KO it. Otherwise, you get one recruit. And I'm going to buy dual existence and dual existence. Okay, once per turn, I gain a shard. to draw two. Two recruit, I gain another shard. Two attack, I choose a number, then reveal the top card of your deck. If the card is at cost, gain a sidekick. I'm going to choose zero. I gain a sidekick. Same deal. I'm going to choose zero. And gain a sidekick. I have six attack. Four recruit. Um, hmm. I could fight Nick Fury this turn. City's clear enough. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spend all three of my shards and fight Nick Fury. Each other ally reveals their hand and discards two Hydra allies. Okay, so these cards these cards are Hydra as well as Shield, so they discard these two. Each other player, okay. And with four recruit, I think I'm gonna buy this one. I now have three instinct cards for this.
twist. Okay, so three more officers go here. And this flips. And now they are Hydra traders. And I can fight them. Okay, I'm going to start with this. Be the top card of your deck, cost two or less draw it. Then I'm going to do this. Reveal the top card, one attack, reveal the top card of your deck, it costs zero KO it, if it costs one or two, draw it. Then one attack, draw a card. One attack, reveal the top card of your deck, it costs zero KO it, if it costs one or two, draw it. And I look at the top two of the cards of my deck, I draw one and put the other one back. Then one attack, draw a card. Then three attack. Ten attack, one recruit. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. <coughs> I can once again fight Nick Fury, but that means that this pile is going to start to get a little out of control. The next one will add four, and then the next one will add five. How many schemes are in here? There's nine, right? Okay. I'm going to fight Nick Fury. This may be a mistake. Fight. Each other player reveals a tech ally or chooses an adventurous adversary from their victory pile and it enters the bridge. Dark cut. Alright, uh, once per turn gain a shard. To recruit, I choose this effect and gain a shard. Then I gain two sidekicks. Then I look at the top two cards of my deck, I draw one and put the other one back. Then two attack. Choose a number, then reveal the top card of your deck. The card is that cost. Gain a sidekick. I choose zero. Gain a sidekick. Okay, I have five attack and three recruit. Can't fight Ant-Man. Him escaping isn't that big of a deal. Currently the fight one. I could fight a shield officer. Or a, a Hydra trader. Or I could clear the city more. This guy escaping isn't that big of a deal. This guy escaping is very bad, but... I think I should do this. So this goes back into the officer stack. Then I KO one of my heroes. The three recruit, I'm going to buy a sidekick. Scheme twist, four more officers, and it flips. I don't have Spectrum right now. Well, I look at the top two cards of my deck, I draw one and put the other one back. Well, now I do have Spectrum. Beautiful. Okay. One attack, draw. No, 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 no. I should do this first. Two attack. Reveal the top card of your deck. It costs two or less, draw it. Then one attack, draw a card. Two attack. Reveal the top card of your deck, it costs one or less, draw it. Yeah, I have eight attack and three recruit. I'm going to 
fight this. Um, fight K one of your heroes. Three recruit, I'm going to buy a sidekick. Ambush. Demolish each player twice. Hulk smash. Four. No. Yes. Two. Unfortunate. Alright, this turn just got a decent amount worse. Once per turn, I gain a shard. Uh, does four recruit get me? Another one of these, which isn't amazing. That's fine. I'm gonna play the right side of this. One attack, Berserk, Berserk. Not bad. Four, okay, four attack and two recruit. I'm gonna fight you. You'll top your deck, cost zero KO it, otherwise gain one recruit. I could get four recruit this turn if I do this. And I will do that. And buy this. Okay, I'm going to start by playing this. Look at the top two cards of your deck, draw one and put the other back. I'm going to draw this one and put this one back. Then one attack, reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it. If it costs one or two, draw it. Then I'm going to play this. Look at the top two cards of your deck, draw one and put the other one back. Then I'm going to do this. Reveal the top card of your deck, cost zero, KO it. If it costs one or two, draw it. Then, uh, oh wait, one of these didn't happen. Yeah, because I didn't get the Spider-Man effect, so one of these goes back on top, it's fine. Then I have three attack, uh, four attack, one recruit. Uh... Yep, that's my turn. <laughs> Twist. This flips and five more officers. Okay, I need to clear this out. Because if it another twist comes, I lose. I'm going to phase this card, which means I put it on top of my deck and draw a card. Then I'm going to play this. Two attack, choose the number, then reveal the top card of your deck that causes that cost you and a sidekick. I'm going to choose two. So I get a sidekick. Uh, I get the X gene effect from this. Okay, two attack, X gene, uh, Covert Berserk. Does Berserk give me all of the attack or just one attack? Yeah, you gain equal to it, so that's two more attack. I'm going to draw two. I'm going to draw two. Uh, once per turn, I gain a shard. I'm going to do this. 
gain another shard. I have six recruit and eight attack. Okay, I'm going to fight this. Which KOs one of my heroes. Then I'm going to fight this. Which KOs one of my heroes. Then I'm going to spend a shard and fight this. Which KOs one of my heroes. Then with six recruit, I'm going to buy implanted memory chip. Okay, if this is another scheme twist, I lose. Okay, it's not. Elusive 7. Uh, I don't have Spectrum. I could just KO the Bindings this turn. Uh, betrayal, if you didn't recruit any allies or defeat any adversaries or commanders on your turn, you may KO bindings from your hand. If you do, the player to your right gains all the other bindings from your hand. And I'm going to play this card just because I don't want it anymore. I lose. I was greedy, I think. There were definitely turns where I should have, like, bought some of these instead of letting it sit there. Like, when it was on the other side, I should have bought some. Yeah. I couldn't have... I could have gotten three attack last turn, I think, but I still would have lost. Man, that sucks. I was playing this way too greedily. I should have I should have spent a lot more time getting like fixing this stack. Man, the, I did get pretty unlucky with the scheme twists. Like they were like all towards the front half other than these three. Oh well, mistakes were made. See you guys next time.